Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers? This is Devin Tucker again for another good tutorial on how to do stuff on After Effects. <laughs> well, anyway, you may know me as Mr. After Effects. That's just my screen name. So, today what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to fly. Yes, how to fly, take off, and, you know, I'm not going to teach you guys the landing because I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. If you can figure out the taking off part, you know how. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your video right here, drag it into the project, then from the project, drag it into the new composition. Now here we got me, do 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 do. I'm just walking out there. I'm like peace out. Remember, this is not my best. I'm not going to ever show you guys my best until, you know, like unless I post videos up my own. Like run backwards, then jump what we're going to do is we're going to take a steel shot of right at the point where I jump going to go to composition composition settings no save frame as photoshop layer so we're going to title it uh, fly and I'm going to save it in actually I already got them saved so and then what you're going to do is you're going to take of one before you even walk on the picture take one and name it background or BG all right, now we're going to set it to right here. And we're going to import. See, maybe one back one frame. About right there. And we're going to go to file, import, multiple files. I have them saved in my documents, so I'm going to go to desktop, documents, and I'm going to control, highlight these, and just bring them in. Let's see, merge layers, you always want to select merge layers, you get your background, now you got your flying, okay, that's it. There we go. Well, two backgrounds, one fly. We can always delete it. So now we're going to drag our flying right on top of this footage. But as you can see, we're going to have to go back this down here and bring it to right here. So it's just this. And then, all right, now you're going to drag your um, background right between the fly layer and the video layer. And you are going to put it right here where you just about take off. So this is what you got so far. You do, 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 walking, jump and stop. That's it. It's not even that great. Jump and stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mask out of this layer. What we do is you highlight the fly layer, hit Control V, or and then delete. If if it pops up as another one on here, delete the second one. Then you're going to right click it, go to mask, new mask. Now you're going to take this pencil tool. You are going to just, I'm going to do basic cut out. Just cut yourself out like this. Mm -hmm. This may take a while guys, so... Well, I, I forgot to mention you know, I take the pen tool. You saw me reach for it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And if you want to animate your shadow that's right below, you can do that by making a new solid and like making it kind of bring the opacity down and like, you know, motion it so it looks like it's the actual shadow. So there we go. Now we're going to go to the corners, hit minus, minus. There we go. There's our layer. You may want to blur it, so you want to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. Let's fast Blur right there. And we are going to bring the blurriness a bit up so that it doesn't look too choppy like this. Perfect. 
So stop. Now we're going to highlight right here. See all the keyframes right here in the transform. Anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Bring it to about right here. And grab your guy and drag him straight up. So let's see. So I'm hit play. It's a little too slow. We want it to go pretty fast. So we can drag this keyframe back as far as we want and how fast it's going to go. So let's see. Jump. I want to too slow again. Take it about right there. Perfect. So let's see. It's not going to play really fast, but that's that's good. Now what we're going to do to add a shake effect, if you want, we will go. The video's done if you want it to be done, but to add our effect, we're going to go to take this down. Go to actually take this transform, and then right here at the beginning. I'll set position. Remember, highlight the background. And then right here, we're going to set another keyframe for the position right here. Then we are going to go to select them both, highlight them both, the wiggler, which you can go to window, the wiggler, and you're going to put the noise type to jagged. Move it to 25 frames per second. 26 if you want. I usually do 25 but whatever and then magnitude of about 15 perfect you want to hit apply and what this does is it makes a shaking effect like this but at the same time it um, you know makes it black around the edges like watch let me cut off this video so you can see how it makes it black see how the black is around the edges but you don't want that black there. It looks unprofessional. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effect, Stylize, um, uh, Motion Tile. Now you're going to turn the output width to about 130, then the output height to 130. Now you're going to hit Mirror Edges. And what that will do, oops. Oh, I had to select it select down here. Sorry about that. So you're just going to do the same thing I just did now. You know that. Motion tile. Put the output width to about 130. And then this to about 120 or 130 or whatever. Whatever one you want. And then hit mirror edges. And so when it bounces around. It, it mirrors the edges and it looks like it's actually wiggling. So there you go. A video of you or me, whatever, flying. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day.